people remain hospitalized here. The most seriously hurt is a 57-year-old woman, the wife of the man killed in his car when a tornado once again uprooted life here in Xenia. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Xenia, Ohio. Good morning, everybody. Well, we're wrapping up the NFL season, the NFL now on MSNBC in the rain. We're not singing in the rain. We're talking football in the rain as the NFL season wraps up tonight when the St. Louis Rams take on the Tennessee Titans. In fact, the, the plane was on fire right behind me and uh, the pilot ejected out and he landed in a cornfield and the, I had to kick the ejector seat off the highway. Okay. About he where the farm is. He's over to the end. Ooh. You know, time is precious. That's why I count on Pro Hardware. Expert service, no long lines, great selection and prices. Save plenty with the Sterling Single Lavatory Faucet and the Skill 3 8 inch Cordless Drill Kit from Pro Hardware. Make time for the things you enjoy most. Go to Pro Hardware. Former professional wrestler Les Thatcher. Sam would draw a lot of curiosity seekers to the marinas. He was uh, quite withdrawn for the most part in the dressing rooms. He was kind of a fish out of water. Sam uh, drank quite a bit. There were times that you could tell that he was, uh, you know, using alcohol. He was also using some sort of uh, uh, sedative, something to, to keep him calm. He seemed to be in that euphoric state. These mites live in human dwellings because we provide them with the climatic conditions and the food that they uh, require. They all require a fairly high humidity in order to survive. In, in homes, in order to flourish, the relative humidity must be above uh, 60 percent. But what is it about dust mites that an estimated 20 million people are so allergic to? So Dr. Arlian and his team are trying to isolate each of the problem proteins. Then they'll create a concentrated extract of each one, which allergists can use to diagnose and treat patients. Good evening, Walter. I regret that I can't be there tonight to see you receive the Outstanding Texan Award for your long and distinguished career. And we're down there in the pit digging. And Dick kept saying, look, baby, baby, I'm telling you, man, we're getting close. Don't just, you know, lean on your shovel. Let's move it, baby. And I turned to him for some reason or other, and I said, hey, man, stop calling me baby. And that was the, the only kind of a funky ad lib that we had. It's the obstacles that are placed in our path that essentially has produced the creative thinking and the leadership of the future. I was uh, made adjutant of our little survivor group and was asked by uh, uh, Major Fisher to write up our story of what happened. And that was communicated to General MacArthur's headquarters at Hollandia that we had so many wounded we just had to have help. I believe that all of us wish that uh, the problem it represents and the services it uh, will provide were not necessary. 